Hello everybody and uh, this coming week Joe Thorpe is going to be leaving us to go travelling in the States and beyond and Joe thank you for the last three and a half years of working with Hope Into Action Houses for learning uh, almost on the job sometimes we didn't know maybe what we were doing as we started the franchise but you've enabled three houses to come on board you've enabled those families and those residents we've seen people move on successfully we've had to deal with some tricksy situations and uh, you've done an amazing job of bringing the church teams on board as well so we are hugely grateful for what you have done and we wish you well as you travel and we're really glad that Stephen has come on board as the new empowerment worker and uh, Stephen welcome and those who haven't yet met him you will do soon for Fourth house is, is almost there. We've signed on the dotted line, we've just got to get the planning through and then we're hoping to get people, three females, into this house in June. Um, jo, uh, we're really hoping, is going to be an ambassador. She's actually uh, an ambassador for FaithWorks and maybe even trying to see if we can get Hope into action into the United States. Why not? Well, um, we've also been talking with other ambassadors this week. Uh, we've got a real lovely opportunity with a couple of folk who have really massive social media reach and they are interested in what we do and maybe we can find a way of them being uh, endorsing what we do and just giving it the, the little thumbs up and uh, maybe doing some collaboration with them so we are just uh, look out for more on that we've got someone in the food food banky area someone in the smile area who are both really passionate about what we do so that's good and of course ambassadors come in all sorts of shapes and f sizes so uh, yes there's the telling the world type but um, there's also the opening doors type so it's just amazing who you know so the smile team through various links have come into contact with a lady from Di diverse abilities plus diverse abilities have just taken over you know the old adventure uh, i can't remember what they used to call it the old adventure playground adventure place up next to the airport well, they've taken on that, created something called the Treehouse, which is focused on giving those who maybe don't have so much opportunities a real space for, for children, young, young adults and, and uh, the adults to, to grow and develop. And we've gone up there for our first session, or just about to, and it, they love the connection with Smile. So they, there's an ambassadorship going on there. There's an ambassadorship happened last week with Rotary because through them running a coffee morning at Rick Stein's we, we connected again with two volunteers who were fairly well off uh, from Paul Food Bank who love the Hope Into Action stuff again and are maybe thinking of how they can contribute to that so ambassadors open doors and then you get um, ambassadors who multiply what we do I'm always astonished at the relationship that Tracy and Sarah have, have created with Alistair Hoare and the folk at the Magdalen Trust in Christchurch they I don't know whether you realize but they give a real load of money to help us do not only the CMA stuff but there's a, there's a hardship fund they provide a lot of funding for the furniture bank they are amazing and again open doors for us in many different ways over in Christchurch and then we've got uh, the people across the road from us here I'm outside Winter Salvation Army we have worked with them this last week uh, David and Claire and, and, and Rebecca to get a chap who wouldn't really have any other opportunities here because he doesn't have a local connection well he's managed to get into Emmaus by the way another ambassador they really like what we're working with us up in Winchester and the guy has safely transitioned there and is really looking forward to getting into work getting into a whole new life and these guys behind have been providing food and a place of connection through their Monday uh, evening uh, food run and through the cafe work they have um, they're, they're a real life center because they might they do working with uh, helping people get their feet sorted out they have showers here it is a really great connection and on, on Thursday David and I sat down with them and said wouldn't it be great or as a request from the council actually to run a remembrance service for those who have died through homelessness or through addiction and they're really happy to take on the load and they're going to run a service for us and for others across town agencies whoever in December so look out for more details of that but these guys are real ambassadors and what I love you can't quite see it because of their building work over there but in that window just there it says that grace happens here what a great phrase, and I think that's a great phrase for us too. May grace happen with you this coming week. Go well.